Yo, what is going on guys, it is Cynical, and today for you guys, I have another Kingdom Hearts 3 sort of news and info video if you guys really want to label it that, but uh, I'm just going to consider it uh, that. But anyway, for you guys today, I have uh, some more sort of um, descriptions and as well as a concept art or a rendition to show you guys. So today's topic is going to be talking about the new Heartless that were displayed during the Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 2.5 Remix launch event within the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. Now, for the people who are unaware, there were a couple of Heartless that were shown during this trailer, and um, apparently these are completely new Heartless that we have never seen before, which is very, very, very exciting. But on top of that, prior to Square Enix actually displaying the trailer, they displayed, uh, I believe it was just, you know, just a couple, um, but they displayed some 2D sort of sketches or drawings of these new Heartless, as well as that they showed, uh, I believe, one or two sort of actual 3D models of the Heartless as well before playing the trailer. So um, that's sort of some extended info right there in case you guys didn't know that, um, which is really, really cool. So today here for you guys, I've actually got an art or a rendition um, of two of the Heartless and uh, full credit goes to Top Hatting once the game will get more into that very shortly. And on top of that, we also have a description of some of the new Heartless as well. Um, and credit goes to Siliconera. Um, dot com, I believe if I probably pronounced the name wrong, but um, they actually attended the 2.5 remix launch event So they have done like a huge description of the actual trailer Which is really really cool and I believe I have actually mentioned them in the past because some of the info that I've actually gotten uh, From the trailer is from their description because the description is really really good So credit goes to them for the description first of all though um, I'll show you guys the uh, the rendition or the concept because that's probably what you guys are most looking forward to as this is going to sort of paint a uh, picture in our head and then we'll get onto the description and see if we can sort of line up the description to the concept. So this is the artwork right here. Now um, if you guys don't know Top Hatting did the rendition or the concept of uh, Cable Town. Now this guy uh, he does sort of the basic renditions in comparison to Zephyr like I mentioned in the Cable Town artwork video. Um, you know, Zephyr's work, he's got lots of detail, um, it's almost as if you're actually really, you know, watching the actual scene, they're, they're really, really good, and of course Zephyr was the one that did the Keyblade transformation as well as that one scene that was shown in the trailer. Um, but you know, still appreciate, you know, uh, uh, what's his name, Top Hatting's um, work, because uh, it's good to see that people who did attend the event are trying to share their knowledge with people through actual concepts. So a uh, shout out goes to you once again, dude. But as you guys can see, we have two Heartless on this picture. I'll read out his little notes that he has here, and then we'll um, talk more upon the actual art. So he said, color scheme reminded me of the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix um, Heartless recolors, and of course, in the final mix versions of each uh, Kingdom Hearts game, the enemies or the Heartless, whatever, you know, in Birth by Sleep it's unversed, but the enemies generally sort of uh, get a recolor. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting point, and perhaps with, um, you know, with these new Heartless, or the Heartless in Kingdom Hearts 3, perhaps, um, Square Enix are going to go more off the Final Mix colors, rather than the basic sort of standard colors, but who knows. His second note was, uh, there was a big knight-like one, and a smaller low-level one that reminded me of, a uh, Soldier Heartless, but cuter. Um, and as well as that, he said, feel free to alter or paint over them with your own impressions. I don't really remember them well. So the paint and the color and all that sort of stuff is very basic. It's not really sort of accurate. Uh, that's, that's essentially what he's saying. So um, what's interesting is he's described this, uh, these Heartless as sort of soldier-like. Now the smaller one being sort of like a soldier, but um, cuter. Now perhaps this, from what I'm getting here, um, the, both of these Heartless look more um, sort of human-like, rather than the actual Soldier Heartless, because the Soldier Heartless essentially looks like a creature, just with sort of like a helmet on. Whereas these guys here, they actually look like sort of, you know, actual soldiers, or in the, uh, the bigger ones um, case, an actual knight. So um, that's really, really interesting to consider. When I was thinking about knights, it was actually quite hard to pinpoint... Um, you know exactly what world they could fit in. Generally, the Soldier Heartless is fitted in as a general enemy, so they appear in, in sort of the hub worlds, like uh, you know Traverse Town or Hollow Bastion, sort of stuff like that. And they sort of appear everywhere else. So perhaps these could be sort of just general Heartless. 
What does uh, really sort of interest me though is the bigger one, the one that's actually described as a knight. That is really, really, really cool. I would love to face, um, you know, this huge sort of armored knight guy. I think we need more bigger heartless uh, just on the battlefield as general heartless, and it's really, really cool. But um, I love how he's described. I love how he's put here. The smaller, low-leveled one is cuter. Um, that is really, really cool. You know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be a dark game. We do know that, but uh, it's cool that Square Enix is sort of um, adding in little cuter enemies. So uh, that's really, really cool. Okay, so I've actually taken a few notes down from Silicon's uh, description. So I'll read the first one. Um, apparently it's being described as there is a Heartless with angel wings. So that's... That's another interesting thing. Now, the thing that I thought of when I thought of a soldier heartless with angel wings. Also, a good note to note is, um, could this description, soldier with angel wings, be linking back to the concept art? Because he was describing those ones in there as the soldier-like heartless. And apparently, it appears to be that, you know, the soldier-like heartless is appearing everywhere. But anyway, there is a soldier with angel wings. Now, when I think of angel wings... For some reason, I think of Hercules. I don't know why, but uh, because of the fact that it's all up in the clouds and Olympus and stuff, I just sort of think about that. Uh, another description reads, uh, there was a large bullhorned heartless with um, a bullhorned helmet. He looked like a knight. Now once again, this does link back to the concept art. Now perhaps he didn't, uh, you know, fully get every single last detail, like he's sort of mentioned in his notes. So perhaps uh, the knight's heartless that he drew in that picture could actually be the one that's described here. A sort of uh, large bullhorned um, sort of heartless with a, with a bullhorned helmet, like a knight. And as the person, or as Top Hatting has described in the concept art, the bigger guy is, uh, looks, you know, sort of like a knight. He's knight light. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is, you know, everyone who viewed the trailer only viewed it for the time that the trailer you know, sort of ran. So the thing is, a lot of people weren't actually noting down all these things while they were watching it. They were just watching it in sheer hype and excitement. So it is really, really hard to sort of think about these things and sort of note all these things down. Apologize for my phone. That is an email. Um, but yeah, that is one thing to note. Um, not everyone was sort of noting down things. So accuracy, as far as accuracy goes, descriptions and concepts, not going to be 100%. So just one other note. Um, the next one is a uh, archer type heartless with a bow and uh, quiver. He's described to be quite small. So once again, this reminds me of uh, Hercu a Hercules world. I don't know why. I suppose it's because it's set back in that time period. And that's when sort of uh, there were guards and stuff like that and like bow and arrows used and I don't know for some reason it just reminds me of the Olympus Coliseum and lastly there was described to be a souped up blue Rhapsody um, with flames around it and of course we know what the blue Rhapsody is they are the uh, general sort of element flying heartless uh, they of course use um, blizzard type attacks now what is interesting about this is it's described that this heartless actually had flames around it so perhaps it's gonna be like um, you know sort of hybrid so like a blizzard and fire type of, of the Rhapsodies. Who really knows though, he's described to be souped up, which sounds like he's going to be damn powerful. But anyway guys, that is a uh, small description of a few of the new Heartless as well as a concept. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hopefully that can get some sort of visualization of some of the new Heartless that are definitely going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. I think as far as enemy variety goes, we're going to have a lot of it, trust me, because these are all new Heartless that, of course, we really haven't ever heard of or they haven't really ever appeared in the game so I'm super looking forward to the enemies and all the baddies and stuff of Kingdom Hearts 3 but what do you guys think leave your feedback in the comment section below and until next time I'll catch you guys later peace